Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the October 3rd edition of the Miami Township Board of Trustees meeting. We'll call the meeting in order at precisely 5 p.m. Um, before we start on the normal agenda, we will also take this opportunity to open a public meeting that we're holding this evening for, for public comment regarding a uh, potential um, a change in the zoning code under um, under uh, PUD section. I don't know what the number is, but anyway, we'll hold that meeting uh, this evening and we'll call it open to the public. In the meantime, I will entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of August 15th. Um, I so move. A second. There's a motion in a second, and I believe Ms. Silman has changed them to the to her satisfaction. Yes, it was the uh, motion made by uh, Mr. Hollister. Mm -hmm. That was the um, the part that we had questions about, and in doing the minutes, I mean, viewing the video, mm -hmm. it's corrected. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. Did we hear a motion? Uh, I did. Okay. Second, second for the comment. Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Major. Yes. Ms. Moyer. Yes. Mr. Hauser. Yes. And we also have the minutes of September 19th. Um, is there a motion to adapt those minutes? I so move. There is a motion. Is there a second? I second. Motion and second. Any further discussion regarding these minutes? Anyone have anything? I. There were a couple uh, oh. places where it might have added a space, um, but in the bottom paragraph of the front page, revenue is up, which I would assume that's 18,000 rather than yeah. 1,800. Yes, it is. It comes in the wrong place. Thank you. So I'll we'll call that a typo rather than... And I, I, well, go ahead. That's it. Well, well, but I have um, under um, standard reports. Yeah. Um, You're the, correcting your own minutes. This is cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I put question marks because yeah. I wouldn't just fill in blank. I think that was fifteen one and fifteen two. It was the, it was the, one and fifteen point two. Fifteen point one and fifteen point two. Mm -hmm. temporary use. You know, but does that does that make sense to you? Certainly could. Well, it was it was you know it was the um, the request by the, the our zoning commission to that went to the Green County Regional Planning to remove ask for to remove the section that allowed people. You want me to, to confirm it? I mean, I will. Well, no, well, well, well I, I need to confirm for the state of the minutes. Meeting but, today. Yeah. Well, no, it isn't. Mm -hmm. The meeting's on the PUD. This one was on the uh, removal this, of the. That's uh, right. Your temporary. Yeah, yeah, um, bear, the, um, I would yeah. have a temporary use section 15.1, 15.2. Okay. Yeah, I just, I knew there was a number attached to it, but I didn't know what it was, so that's why I, I if that's what it is, and that's what I got. Marilyn, did you have anything else? No. Um, I have just a couple other ones than, than what were just mentioned. On the fire department, uh, it, this refers to Collins memo that he just gave us. It says medicating one is now back in service following rear brake replacement, but the power cut is still out of service. That's yeah. So on your memo it says medicating one's power cut re remains out of service mm -hmm. and the ambulance remains out of service. So okay. the ambulance is not back in service? No, I said it's not Physically, back in it service. They can drive. It just can't carry a patient. Yeah, it's a, the, the second sentence is medicating one is now back in service following rear brake replacement, but the power cut is still out of service. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, it's usable. I mean, we could use it in a pinch if we had to. We could throw oh, okay, through. but okay, so it's not yeah. back. It's not back in service, though. Right? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I was just re I was just repeating what Collins. What did you say? Says. The truck is technically in service, but it's memo. It can't really carry a patient because of the. But in an emergency, that person. Yeah. All right. Well, it's not. We, and we can use it to transport staff and those kind of things. 
Okay, well, I can just say that the, then it's the rear brake has been replaced, but it's not in full service. It's clear it as mud. Uh, next page. I was wondering, could we put a name with uh, the uh, uh, volunteer applicant that was sure. uh, adapted, adopted with resolution 2234? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Who was that? Jack, Jacqueline Kendall. K-E-N-D-A-L-L? -L. I believe so, yeah. Okay. Well, no, the resolution. Okay. What about his own resolution? We may have misreported her name. I heard Anderson for some reason. <laughs> Oops. I'll run a question. Hello, Jackie. Let me check her application. Did she, she, was, um, she was a hyphenated last name. Oh. Uh, uh, but she's right. transitioning mm -hmm. to just one of the other because she got divorced. So. So you might be correct, okay. or well, partially correct. So. I'll ask. I'll, I'll double check the application. I apologize. Yeah. Or I may have just called her Anderson, thinking <laughs> we'll find out who she is. <laughs> who is this woman? <laughs> the only other thing I had was under cemetery. I'm not sure which way this is going, but Mr. Coconauer, in Mr. Coconauer's absence, I reported that the well restoration work had been done. We didn't do any well restoration work. We did tombstone restoration work, and we finished the well digging. So I'm not sure which one that Me either. referred to. So I, I think it was two different items, and yeah, well so you can restoration. that into two. Oh, so we well it was a tombstone restoration. Oh, restoration. Oh, yeah, this, oh okay. Well, this was last. The great yeah. Yeah. marker of restoration. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So All right. forget and the, the well. well was dug. Right. Okay. Well, they want to. I don't, I don't <laughs> think Okay, I've got, well I've got all that. Okay. Thank you. Well, that's all I had. Um, we need to vote on that, please. Oh. The adoption. Okay. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Weecher? Yes. Ms. Meyer? Yes. Okay, now we can entertain a motion to adopt the approving of bills in the amount of $130,919.94. Oh Who has a lot? Broken down general fund, $9,917.68. Fire fund, $38,461.79. Cemetery fund, $1,373.18. AMS billing, $5,249.68. Road bridge seventy five thousand nine hundred seventeen dollars and sixty cents, and nothing on any of the other capital funds. So it's all about the road and bridge. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. any, um, is there a motion to approve these payments? I move that we approve these payments. Any motion? Is there a second? I second. Is there any further discussion regarding these payments? Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Mutcher. Yes. Ms. Moyer. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Correspondence uh, World Digital, big, big operation, uh, offering printing and mailing campaigns, Grinnell Mail Update, we should probably talk about somewhere along the line here, Auditor of State Public Records Training, um, uh, update from the Deputy Secretary of State uh, on the status of the uh, recovery program operations, Culture Works Arts and Culture 2223 Guide Magazine, thank you from the Buckeye Search and Rescue Dog operation, which used our Meeting room. Uh, it still smells pretty bad. <laughs> uh, OTA's October grassroots clipping, safety training opportunity from Green County Engineer, RPCC Executive Committee uh, meeting notice for September 20th. And fund status, revenue status, operation status for today. Is there any further correspondence in or out? Very none. We'll move on to public comment on agenda item that may or may not include the open public meeting. Any comment? Hearing none, we'll move to the fire department report. Uh, Colin, right? <coughs> Since the last meeting we've had um, 36 EMS incidents, two of which were in Bath Township, and 10 fire incidents, one which was in Bath Township. Fire incidents included a reported building fire at Friends Care on Saturday. Uh, luckily, it was not on fire. Uh, a belt had burned up in a compressor, and uh, part of the building was smoked. So, uh, there was no fire, and uh, the resident wings were not affected, so that was, that was good. 
Uh, Cedarville and Houston and Fairborn are responding to assist us. So. I have a question. How many uh, incidents, calls were there today? Uh, up to five, I think, today. It's funny how they come in pairs sometimes, which happened hmm. today. Six. Seven. Seven today. And what's what's in your memory, what's been the most in the day? 32. In one day? What? I that was uh, following Hurricane Ike. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was 32 in six and a half hours. Mm -hmm. It was a busy day. I remember those nine days. That was a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. So Medicaid one got uh, still out of service. We told them we need it back by Friday, so it can be in service. We can work at Street Fair. Uh, you have resolution 2022-36 to appoint Dr. Kelly Travers as our assistant medical director. Uh, he would be volunteering his services. This is very nice. Is there a motion to approve resolution 22-20-36? Definitely need to that. We have one definite motion. <laughs> is there an indefinite second? I have a definite second. Oh, we have a definite second. That is great. Uh, any further discussion regarding these, uh, this resolution? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh, okay, this past Saturday, we had seven members participate in the live fire training hosted by Zinga Township Fire. Uh, they had a really good time, came back alive, which is always important. Where they burned? Uh, a house on Jacoby Road, that's part of the Glen Helen property down there, the old Birch Mansion. They didn't burn the Birch Mansion. The, the, uh, the gate. first house is Yeah, it's the gate house or the caretaker house. That, uh, I'm assuming Glen Helen just decided they didn't want to invest whatever they needed to invest in so to fix it up. So I know that's been a rental property for a long time. So the township originally I thought that they were burning the big mansion. <coughs> but, but no, that's still there. So but everyone had a really good time and um, four of the seven were brand new firefighters, so it was a good experience for mm -hmm. Big thanks to the township. Uh, Yellow Spring Street Fair, if you haven't heard, it's this Saturday. Good Lord. What? Uh, weather looks nice. We're expecting, the Chamber Director says he's expecting a really large crowd. Um, that's, most of us me, for the record, this is the President, not the Director. Oh, I'm sorry. That's yeah, I know. The president. I, 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 don't, I don't get a salary. The but President says that will be a really big crowd. Hmm. All of our staff is working. Do we get a fee? We don't. No, not this time. Back in good old days. Well, in the Karen Wintro days, we did. Mm -hmm. yeah, wait, what? What? <laughs> Seriously? I didn't get you the memo in time, so I'll, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll work on it for the next street fair. No, if, if, if. Okay. So, so. There's a fee built into, at least it was, there's a fee built into every vendor booth. Uh, $5 for non food vendors and 15 for food vendors. Okay, cool. That's easy. All right, there you go. Um, Thank you. Okay. We started, but we put that in 10 years ago, I think, just to help recoup a little bit of the cost. Because mm -hmm. it takes almost our entire, it's always had, I mean, we've had usually 15 to 20 people have to work through that. Um, okay. I would like to see. I know you all, you guys are struggling and could compromise, but so, we don't need to. So I'll take this opportunity to let you know that we received a rather large grant of our money from the, back, the county, and that it, and that is a non, um, a non staff position that we can, that we can um, charge against that. So I'm happy, you know, I'm happy, I'm happy to support the fire department. See, so the, the chamber got a grant, or the, the, the street fair, chamber specifically yeah. for street, street fair, or specifically for street, street fair. Yes. From who did you get from? The county ARPA. Green, the Green County ARPA funds. The, it was an ARPA grant. Oh. You don't ask me how much. It was either twenty-five or thirty thousand. Did you guys apply for that, or did they just think we applied for it? That's cool. And traditionally, just so everyone knows, the fire departments and police boards don't make money from. 
So anytime you can recoup a little bit, well, you do, but when you think about it. What, uh, what's that one? New Year's Eve, we have to be there. Mm -hmm. All those kind of things. That's not normal. That's not yeah. But those, you know, those are high liability Fourth events July. for us, and if we're not there, then something happens. So yeah, Fourth of July was in mind. <laughs> and Christmas, I'm sorry, you, 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 you guys rate up and down anyway for Christmas, so that. It's taking over. Chamber's taking over. We're, well, um, trying to do, do good things for the community. Which is always nice. Um, and then last but not least, so uh, this proposed dispatch cost increase. Mm -hmm. So the city of Xenia, working with Green County, who jointly oversee our 911 dispatch center, um, apparently had a meeting which they had neglected to invite half the townships to, uh, where they discussed this proposed increase. Um, the, we are looking at approximately 135 percent increase in our costs. Um, from we pay about 12,000 and some change this year to 29,000 and some change. Um, we, we being the Green County Fire Chiefs, uh, met about this, and um, all of us feel that it's while it certainly may be necessary to increase costs, uh, especially with townships to propose such increases in September, when our budget's already submitted typically and everything, mm -hmm. is insane. Um, plus the pricing model, I, I wasn't at the meeting initially because we apparently were not in there. Um, but uh, Chief Miller was from Cedarville and um, said that it was like this last minute, very tossed together thing where most of their numbers still weren't correct. Um, so basically the dispatch center is seeking uh, two new IT positions and two new um, supervisor positions on top of what they already have. Um, and they're also citing a significant increase in workload. According to their own stats, the vast majority of the increase in workload is not coming from fire. Uh, it's coming from law enforcement. Uh, with the new dispatch software they have, police officers are able to initiate calls from their own car or computer, mm -hmm. uh, which the officers are doing all the time. So that's driven the massive call load increase for, uh, for dispatch. We don't have the capability to do that, so it's, it ain't us. Um, and there's also some question about the transparency. I mean, apparently at the meeting, the city manager and the county administrator both tossed the word transparent around a lot, but uh, no one there, including See, a township's administrator who did attend that one, uh, not stop. Mm -hmm. They also, uh, there was no transparency about anything, but how they came to the figures, all that kind of thing. There's some question as to whether they actually need two new IT positions. Uh, the justification is that they only have one guy right now, and then if he's out sick, there's no one back him up. So apparently he needs two. So I'd like to propose two people to take over for me when I leave. <laughs> um, so it's, it's really a crazy um, thing. So we've drafted a letter that you'll be receiving. Each council and transport trustees will be receiving from the, camp, the fire chiefs um, urging you to address the issue of the county and the city. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently the story is they weren't ready to come forward yet with the information, but uh, it came up at a commissioner's meeting and there was someone from the Dayton Daily News there who heard it and then called the mayor of Jamestown for comment, and he said, what the heck are you talking about? Well, I don't know anything about it. So they felt they needed to rush this information out. Uh, so one wonders when they would have sprung it on us if it had not leaked. So. Is this a commissioner's uh, decision, decision to be made? I'm not certain if it's the commission. I mean, I would assume the commissioners would have a point, a, a part in this. Mm -hmm. uh, the center is jointly, jointly operated by the city and the county, mm -hmm. and then we pay, we pay the county. Mm -hmm. We're part of their portion. Uh, I'm sure if you can Bellbrook pay the city, mm -hmm. and like, all of somehow that works out. Is Yellow Springs also part of this? No. So Yellow Springs has their own dispatch center. Mm -hmm. But you said most of the increase is coming from law enforcement. Right? Yeah, sheriffs, um, mm -hmm. Zinga City Police, Bellbrook Sheriff Creek Police, Cedarville PD, apparently. Mm -hmm. I think Jamestown has a place there too. So, it is a little shocking to say the least. Um, Chief Rigsby from Xenia said that it is proposed to take effect in 2023, but now they're talking about maybe phasing and increasing. So you know, I'll keep you posted as I hear anything new. Um, 
publicly scoffed at the idea of 138. I mean, no one gets what they want, apparently, except dispatch. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we also kind of quibble that we agree that there's a need for supervisory positions on each shift. Mm -hmm. Over five dispatchers on each shift, we find it hard to believe that there's not, there aren't qualified staff who can be promoted to dispatch supervisor instead of adding a 95,000 to yeah. yeah. position. So, you know, it's almost like the Christmas list. You know, I can give you guys a wish list and then we come out with maybe a, a fourth of it or something, you know. Um, no, apparently, <laughs> apparently dispatch doesn't work that way, so. So we'll keep you posted. The cost increase would affect in PFR? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So which calls go through? I'm, I'm just want to clarify. This is our 911 dispatch center. So all all 911 calls from Miami Township and Yellow Springs go to this this center. If it's a police 911 call for Yellow Springs, they transfer it to Yellow Springs. Okay. okay. Uh, there's not a whole lot of that. So I mean, they would see an increase too because they do have to pay a small fee mm -hmm. for that service. Um, but they're our primary dispatchers. So. I think we pay about 2600 a quarter. Yeah. Okay. yeah it boils out about 12,000 a year yeah. or something. So. Top but yeah, the increase is, is staggering. For so. so that is it uh, for my report. Okay. okay. Any questions or comments for the chief? I already made mine. Thank you. We'll move on to the uh, cemetery road report. Well, this is our last meeting. We've had no bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of a lull. They'll come in three, four, five, five. Five, five. We've done five, five, ten a week. Yeah. Let's see. I'll be working in Oak Grove. All in all. You know, there's some road departments. That's a couple days there. Mm -hmm. There's some stuff there. Mm -hmm. The road. On your list. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to start digging and pouring bases. Mm -hmm. We've got like 16. Really? Yeah. 11. Mm -hmm. pours, yeah. So that's what the world is. That's why we do kind of mix mm -hmm. How did Walton do? How did Great River do? Oh, I, I thought they did an excellent job. How many? I didn't count. I didn't. They, Everything that I marked off and yeah, they know everything we marked or uh -huh. marked. And yeah. A couple of others we marked, and he was walking around picking one time. Mm -hmm. uh, did a nice job putting the monuments back together. Did a nice job putting the lifting the tombstones back up. Um, you're you're happy. Yeah. Um, so I was happy with what they How do they usually get paid? I thought they usually he'll did. send an invoice with pictures. He's got, okay. he's doing, he likes to send pictures, not yeah. actual pictures. Yeah. And then the invoice would be with that. Okay. And then we'll just send it. Nope. I think we got pictures last time. I didn't remember how we got invoices. He said it'd be a minute, you know, when uh -huh. he got them to us because he likes to. He's uh -huh. been developed and we sort through them and mm -hmm. we should be getting them sometime. And there'll be an invoice with that. Okay. And I'm looking for an electrician who lost ours. Mm -hmm. Ask your Bath Township slash Zinni Township. I've got two words now. Yeah. There's a guy up the road, uh, airport road in the area, Griff Gates, he's an electrician, so I catch mm -hmm. up with him. He does a test class to get Now, were we at the point where there was a uh, um, an application for a permit? We have the application, but... Is it in there, or...? No, it's, a, it's, in, it's at the shop. Oh, okay. I haven't turned it in because... Ron had to come up with a drawing to turn it over. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, now this is a permit for what? For the electrical to, to put electricity back there and mm -hmm. to run the well and, and uh -huh. hook up the <coughs> nutrients in, into the between the two. The back is an actual. It'll be it'll be back by the building. It'll be an exterior thing like a temporary, but it'll be a regular service. Mm -hmm. And it was going to be Ron Hampton. It was. And you're talking about the back by the Oak Grove Cemetery. Right. Mm -hmm. What's good to name? Which will be our problem sometime in the near future. Well, crush these things. That's a smart move. 
I thought Brandon did a nice job in Clifton. I was poking my nose where I didn't belong, but cemetery looked very nice. I thought. He did. He did a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks for letting me go with you. I had to sit on him here and there, but mm -hmm. we got him going. Mm -hmm. um, uh, was, is that both reports, or are we just going to slide into roads here? We can slide into roads. Okay. Well, let me see. Um, Sniper Road has some trimming that needs to be done. Yes. Houston has small amounts of trimming and mowing that could be done. Yeah, we'll, we'll go out again. We'll go be out again. Okay. Around. We'll just, to just check it. Yeah. Gold Willow look nice. Jacoby Road, uh, other than the sign, has never been replaced. Look nice. Which sign? The sign is Jacoby Road. Jacoby Road sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, You're not saying uh, we're east. Go ahead. That's not our responsibility, though, right? Well, it's our road. Mm -hmm. It's kind of our responsibility. Oh, okay. We have to notify the county of the sign. They wouldn't do it on their own. No, they might. Uh, East Hyde, uh, why is that little spot? I always cross from Ariel at Abrams' old house. Why does that always need to be mowed? Is there a. From where? On East Hyde. Across from Abrams? Yeah. Where that Johnson grass is growing? Yeah. yeah. Try to keep the top there, cut down so it doesn't take over. I don't. It's like it's taken over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to hit it once, so it grows faster than everything else. Oh, is that what it is? It grows fast? I mean, and it spread. Uh, East East Hyde looks nice. All the trimming and and the like, did a nice job there. Uh, Grinnell Circle and Glen Drive, they both look nice. Uh, Larkins, you got a limb or two yeah. or three. Tree, yeah. Tobias looks nice. Harvestone's got <coughs> trees and yes, got a stuff. Tree. Yeah. Uh, that trunk, half trunk or whatever it is, it's sitting in there. It's top of that tree. Oh, is that the top of it? Mm -hmm. okay. South River looked good. Kyle looked nice. North River looked good. A few branches here and there, but nothing to cry about. Tandry looked nice. Swimming Pool Road looked okay. William and Mary looked fine. Uh, Bryan Park Road. There's, uh, I don't know if you told me about it, but we just noticed it, uh, my assistant and I. The last couple of poles on the guardrail. There's a broke one in the curve. Is that the one? Yeah, we replaced it. It was in some like tagging work that we played. Or mm -hmm. so. We just tread it right now. We just got them all trained. The guard rails are all good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We'll go down and replace that cement. Mm -hmm. so we'll get there. Mm -hmm. It's on the road really you focus with. Okay. So I'll put that on the list. We pulled the blacktop out of that pipe we put in down there because when they blacked out the road, they filled up the pipe. Mm -hmm. and of course, the water was running over it, it pulled it off. And last week, we chipped it out and we got the pipe hole open. So there's no obstruction. Okay. So it's great and better. Yeah, it's packed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice it. I'm through there last night, or yesterday afternoon. It was, uh, there was a chunk in the pipe. Is that right? Yeah, we broke the loose and get it out of the pipe. Mm -hmm. We got it. Yeah, well, it's um, anything from Katie Rose? It's uh, in the building process. That's all you get. Mm -hmm. You don't get much detail out of it. Now, the uh, old uh, truck plow spreader, not spreader, but what, we're not giving the spreader up, right? We're using, we're using, we're using the spreader. We're using the spreader. Uh, is there anything that needs to be done to that before we put it on the I don't okay. think so. The spreader's fine. Maybe the spinner, the pump, we put a new table on it, but I'm going to have to look at the pump to see. I thought you said we weren't giving the spreader away with it. We're going to use the spreader in the new. Right. On the new truck. Now I'm talking about the old one. Does it need anything serviced before we put it on the for sale? Oh, on this the truck? Yeah. The truck and the plow and the hydraulics. And Probably put the plow up and make sure that the, you know, the hoses are all good going to it and good, good cleaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the engine runs? Yeah. Okay. You know, the market. I don't know how soon we'll get the other one. They said it was snow flies, but. Yeah. Well, 
I'm figuring probably maybe December. It's probably worth the most before the snow flies. Yeah. You know, the plow. Yeah, get rid of it before we get our new Nope. Good idea to keep them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything cool. Well, between now and then, we're going to make sure it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to hang on to it, you know. And like I say, probably work for it. I have no idea what we're going to get for it. What did Lamar give us for that last one? Eleven five or something? Thirteen five. Thirteen five. Is that really plow? Plow was great. And the spreader, mm -hmm. but that was the that was the steel steel bed. That was the steel bed. That was the first one, in 2000. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the first one we bought. It's a stainless bed. I, I think we have an offer of like 85, but I don't think that's going to take it. I think we can get more than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I didn't. I just said, well, mm -hmm. keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Anything else for? Uh, not from me. I'm sorry. Not from me. No. 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 Thank you, David. Mm -hmm. okay. Any fiscal officers this evening? Report this evening? Yeah. Other than the. Um, I didn't give myself a copy of the resolution. <laughs> <laughs> no. Resolution 2022-37, Amendment of Permanent Appropriations. <clears throat> Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township, now therefore the trustees authorize amending the following appropriations in the gas tax fund. I increase contractor services by 25,000. <clears> in the cemetery fund, increased electricity by $75 and operating supplies by 2,000. In the fire fund, I increased Bureau of Workers Comp by $1,600, and repairs and maintenance by $500. The Miami Township Trustees authorize the fiscal officer to do so immediately. I right, so sure. move. A motion to approve has been made. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion of seconding for the discussion regarding Resolution 2237. Hearing none, may we vote, please? Ms. Moyer? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Zoning inspector's report. Hmm. Seems to be a zoning inspector missing this evening. So, I was hoping he would be here. Um, why don't we issue that permit for that new goal on? Maybe that's why he's not here. <laughs> Thanks to the freight line appliances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is there something zoning? No, I was just going to ask. Um, Gregory had talked to me about, um, you know, asking them to apply for uh, just some, nothing definite, but agritourism permit. And I didn't know what an agritourism permit is. Is that simply a site plan? Like mm, not generally a site plan. It's more of a site, site usage plan. Yeah. Um, and that would be, you know, that would be in, in writing. Um, so that was part. So when I guess they need to be specific. So so I, I, they're talking about isn't, mm -hmm. isn't or if if something falls in, within the law, they can just do it. It, it always has to be um, permitted. Permitted. Yes. It's submitted. Mm -hmm. Permitted. Mm -hmm. So they had asked for. They said, "Well, can you show us an example like Clementine or Pfeiffer's?" And he said, "Well, Clementine was." approved by the BZA, and I didn't know what that meant. So, um, there's a way around, work around, or, and then the other one he said was, well, Pfeiffer's is currently operating as a roadside stand. He turned down Clementine for agritourism permit. Clementine uh, uh, appealed it to the BZA. Okay. And the BZA overruled uh, Richard oh, and... That was several years ago or something? Yeah, that was five years ago. Yeah. Okay. And issue the, the permit uh, that way. Uh, 
so that they did so they didn't have to submit things. Oh, well, they did. Oh, they did. Oh, they did originally. They okay. submitted the plan okay. and the, the way they felt that it was it fell under a, a, an approved mm -hmm. use of agritourism, mm -hmm. and Richard disagreed, and that's how it got approved BZA. Okay. Viper's operating as a roadside stand, so they don't need them. Mm -hmm. As long as there was that thing. Okay. Um, the other questions? Um, just about the PUD, but then we're not there yet. Well, we're getting there. Okay, we're there. <laughs> there we are. We're there yet. We're there yet. We are about to close the public hearing. So if there's any the public meeting? Public hearing. It opened oh. at the beginning of the meeting. Okay. But was there anyone from the public who? You wanted to talk about it? Well, I'm not public. Okay. Non-public people. Does any, any okay. non-public people want to speak to the PUD? And I'm just trying to understand what PUDs are really. I always, I always thought of them as um, residential things. But I've been learning as I read and things that they're also <clears throat> planned districts. So like it could be industrial or business. Or, yep. And so does this preclude Anything of a, a, a plan district? We've earlier dropped business and industrial land unit development option. In our code? Yeah, that, is, that, that was a previous time, and we s said we did not want to drop the plan option commission. of a residential. The plan and commission development. wanted to pull the residential also. Yeah. And we said no. And so they went back and they modified the district to their happiness, I guess, their, their approval. And that's what's before us this evening. I thought I read in here, in the event that it is business or, give me just a second. Um, now, remind me the, of what the process is going to be here after tonight. We're voting this is final. This is this. This is will, it. We'll make this final. Make it permanent. Part of the zone code, as written, as presented. <coughs> and to make everybody understand. It was submitted to the regional planning, and regional planning voted to approve the, the submission to to, to us. Uh, and it came back in, to the zoning commission, and because it's here, then they approved, you know, going ahead and recommending it, recommending we accept the changes and codify them. And that's now why, why we're here. The only option we have is yes or no. At this point, you can change it. At this point. Well, if, if well, there's a change, yes, to then go back to the commission. Okay. We can change it. There's some debate about how much we can change it. That's true. There is some debate. I don't know how much we can, but it says in the code that we can change it. We can change it. We can. At any time. Well, you know, I. I feel like we should be able to change it, but the wording is makes it sound like it says approve, deny, or modify. It doesn't say with the right advice and consent of the zoning commission. Elsewhere in Ohio Revised Code, it says that the zoning commission drafts all. It implies mm -hmm. that if we do anything other than mild tweaking. Any major conceptual change should go back to the. Commission. I would certainly accept that, and, and I would want that to be followed that way myself. Mm -hmm. But it's just not set in stone. Just want to make sure that we understand. <laughs> Any other? Are there things that you wanted to? No, I mean I was just trying to understand <clears throat> um, because I, you know, I'm, I have a steep learning curve here. I didn't. It says uses permitted are found in section 
R1, 6 R1A, which is residential 1A. Um, but then when I was just reading through it, I saw a place where it said if, it, if it's business or a commercial, and I thought, so. Did you find that? Online? Not yet. Okay, good. Um, if you do, I'd like to strike that, so. Uh, I'm because we don't, you guys made it, it's a, <clears throat> some point, a decision that a person couldn't <coughs> Request a permit to have a plan district on the township. Right, for business or for investment. In the, in the future, I might suggest. Yeah. You know, if you have questions, yeah, you know, to to try and get those straightened out before right. we get. And I did go to their hearing. I, I, when they had their hearing, we, we talked a long time, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, sorry to bring this up at the last minute. Um, I'm good. Okay. Uh, I would therefore like to close the public uh, hearing regarding this um, adoption of the changes and entertain a motion for the board to adopt changes as presented by the Planning and Zoning Commission for the plan use development section of our code. I show the number. Section one. Section 13. 13. We have a motion. Is there a second? Yes, I can. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding these changes? Uh, just to point out that this has been going on for two years or more. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. The wheels of justice move slowly. In. Well, I'm just, you know, it's not, <coughs> a, flip, not a flip. But Right, yeah. Uh, it, it predated me quite. Yeah, it, that's, it's, it's been, yeah, gone over and uh, over. Gone over and over. Here it is. Well, the... In, in addition to the final site plan, in the case of business or industrial plan development, a statement identifying the principal types of business and or industrial uses that are to be included in the proposed development. Oops. Well, I, mm -hmm. Submission. Unless I have an old copy. Let me look over. Let me look at that. Oh no. There it Oops. Is. It's under section submission of final development plan in accordance with approved pre development plan. But that, that's, I mean, if, if you've already eliminated those previously, it could be there and not hold any water. True. Or <clears throat> we could vote to take out that paragraph and to amend my motion and change the numbers for the next three. That's paragraph six under. Yeah, I wish Richard was here because um, I hesitate to do that without, unless, unless he had a reason. 13.9. Section six, we could we could eliminate, and then section seven, eight, and nine would become six, seven, and eight. So you're, you're eliminating. Well, we, uh, I, I haven't. We, we haven't. I have, that's not an amendment. I'm, I'm just saying that's a discussion item. Uh, but then there's also the point that since those don't exist, it's nil. What's your pleasures? I would. I I I go ahead. I'd like to take it out. Well, it's I, coming out, but how would you like to do that? I don't have one. To my motion. Okay. Would you like to offer that? I move adoption of uh, these changes, with the exception of. Item six in the already mentioned heading, and that that will be eliminated, and the three sections below it will have their numbers changed. 
I hesitate to do that without checking with Richard. I mean, they've, is this the, we is, can, is this the final? We can continue the. Is this the final copy? I, mean, I think we could continue the. I'm, I'm assuming we're looking at the final copy. We could continue the hearing. Well, we've already voted on it. We have to go to. Would it have to be re-advertised and everything? No, well, if there's any way to continue it, I mean, we have to vote to remove our adoption. Wait a minute, I thought we were in discussion of my motion. Well, we are, but we have to vote to... We haven't voted on my motion. Well, we have to move to remove the motion. How we, are you... Oh, I just brought my motion. The motion. I will, I'll, I'll rescind my motion. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now uh, that's that's how we'll, we had to move in a second, and then we'll have some discussion, and then and then as a result, Mr. Hollister is rescinding his his motion. Correct. And now I would assume that one of the members of the board would move to continue this hearing until which time. Until the next meeting. Inspector Zock and, and the our meeting. Just, let's just continue until our next meeting. I move that we continue okay. this adoption to our next meeting. October 17th. Our second. Now, there's a motion and a second. Any further discussion regarding that motion? And second. Mm -hmm. Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mm -hmm. Mr. Major? Yes. Is aware? Yes. Yes. All right, the meeting then will be continued until October 17th. Anything further for zoning? I noticed that um, the town of association is, um, Ohio Tech is offering a, a uh, <coughs> All day training on agritourism and comprehensive land use plans and things. And for building inspectors, I was going to seek to find out if township trustees are welcome at such trainings. Generally, they are. I don't know about this one specifically. So I just wanted you to know. This when is it? October 23rd. Sunday. Yeah, they said that's, they said Saturday, October twenty third. Thank you. Their their website is wrong. They said it's Saturday, October twenty third. So it's probably Saturday, October twenty second. But we won't do standing committee reports this evening. Is there any new business for us this evening? Not unless anybody wants to comment on the, the joint meeting. <clears throat> well, I'd comment that the the next. Fifth Monday is Halloween. Since we said we would meet, we wouldn't have the option of meeting on the fifth, each fifth Monday. I chuckle. I enjoyed the meeting. Uh, I'm not terribly sure how productive it was, but I'm not sure it was really meant to be productive. I think it was meant to be more of a, uh, a joint meeting for information for sharing ideas. Uh, I thought everybody was on their absolute best behavior, which I always appreciate. Yeah, I, I learned a lot about the you know, revenue and spending of um, the other two jurisdictions. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Julian, is, is this under new business you went to? Under? This was a new business, yeah. Mm -hmm. is, what was it, who, was it, who held the meeting? The uh, township trustees had a, an official meeting, the school board. Oh, right, and, the joint meeting, okay. Yep, and okay. the uh, village council. Okay. Yeah. No business was conducted, it was information. Any other new business? Any old business this afternoon? I have yet another draft of. Uh, protocol for use of this meeting room and <clears throat> I 
I have passed out copies. Uh, it's in the format of a, an email. So what I'm suggesting is in the body of the email. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I'm uncertain about in here, I uh, say that we will people will have access if they made a reservation through the chief would have access to the meeting room with a key card and I'm not clear whether we felt that there needed to be a deposit for the key card or not. I, I don't know. We it. talked about one, but I mean, we didn't decide. I didn't that include one, it in here. So that was, that. that's one thing to consider. And you suggested that there could be multiple key cards. Like if somebody used it every month, they might have a key card. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm hoping we're not going to have that kind of usage in some room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. if, if the room was being used on an ongoing basis by, say, YSDC, uh, then we wouldn't necessarily have to have someone go to column every day before the meeting and get a card and give them the twenty-five dollars. Just throw them out a deposit if we decide on that, then they can keep the card. Mm -hmm. well, I would think for someone who's going to keep it, or, yeah, you definitely yeah. need a person who's responsible for it and mm -hmm. the deposit. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then having a deposit for a key card should be added to this. But do we need one for just one off meeting for the rescue dogs and yeah, they're just going to come yeah, in? I think so. So, so it would be a deposit. If it was a ongoing, yeah, okay. Now, do you feel we need to vote on all this, or just my, my purpose is just that there be an understanding? Uh, and that I think when it's in a final, chart. I think when it's in a final form. Okay. Um, I changed phone numbers on there. I either call my office, not myself. Yeah. Okay. I haven't had a copy of the revised one yet. I, I know I oh. printed it. Mm -hmm. printer, but I, well, I'm not going to read it. We'll take the time to write it. Okay. Thank well, you. we'll break, we'll oh, go over it again next time. Any other old business? Yeah. Um, okay. Both. Um, Lauren and Mark have inquired, and, and one actually one other member of the club has inquired about um, the temporary use and what the Zoning Commission has decided to do. And um, they had a meeting. Um, I've been checking for the minutes. That's another issue. The minutes of the Zoning Commission meetings, they're only up until March. They're, the last one submitted was was March, so. The Zoning Commission meeting minutes are in a file. In a binder, right? In a file. On oh, in a file. The, right by, I can show you, it's, I think, you know, I've put them in Not there. Not that binder that's in the, right there? No, they're, oh. they're on in a manila folder. Oh, okay. Next to the file cabinets. Okay. And <laughs> right on Chris's desk. Okay, so we don't know what they decided the list. So, so I didn't read them, but so the minutes are in there. The answer to your question right now is we don't we don't know if they what their next move with is on the temporary use. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I the very first sentence temporary use of the um, of anything. They want they wanted to strike temporary use from the zoning. Right. Okay. And I, it was I know what we're talking recommended about. by yeah our that 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 we not do that and then they have the option now of giving it to us anyway or rewriting it or but it, um, when you say they you mean the the zoning commission green county no regional planning no no they've recommended zoning not. commission regional planning recommended not to right. adopt it as presented it's back in zoning commission's court as it were right I understand that no, we don't hear from them, then that's one decision. But we won't, we won't, unless Richard wants to bring it up, 
don't necessarily want formally here today. Okay, so it should just be dropped. Yeah. Any other old business? Done? Yeah. All right, well, happy street fair, everyone. <laughs> I hope we have fun. I hope the chamber makes lots of money. I hope they do too. I move we adjourn. I, uh, I second. I acclimated.